And then if you get overly negative on a stock that's down 88 percent, tomorrow it could pop 30, 40, 50 percent and no one is shocked at it. So, so AMC stock could go down 80 percent a month, but tomorrow could go 30, 40, 50 percent on the way up, bouncing and filling the gap. But the guy was on point. No one will even report on this upward momentum. This was on point comment. People are never reporting on the good, bullish and positive news. They're only going to make a comment, make a title, make a headlines only when the stock is down, when the company is suffering and have a negative catalyst on the surface. A tiny blip up for Taylor Swift. I don't think that's enough to make it. I can't. I, I'm excited to see how this ends. It's extraordinary that it hasn't ended already. And what's but different about what you just said than two years ago? Um, when this stock was riding high with the momentum of, you know, the, it was, the memers. Uh, and, right, it was, and, it was, it was yeah. idiotic. First of all, it, it was burning it, cash. It burned $630 million in 22. I don't know what it burned in 21. It was probably around the same amount. It's going to burn a couple hundred, probably 250 to 280 this year. Um, this, this was a broken company. It had nothing to do with the establishment or hedge funds. It, it has everything to do with secular headwinds that have been going on in, in the box office. And it was a great summer, by the way. And, and the, you know, T Swizzle and all the Swifties aren't going to save them either. I mean, you know, just to be clear, on the day that that news was announced, I mean, I think the stock barely budged and it shouldn't have budged. And maybe it saved it from being down another 20 percent, which is what it seems to do every day. This is shocking. And, and it's been shocking that um, the shenanigans that I think have been going on. Well, I mean, it's amazing that the CEO went from hero to shareholders to <laughs> anathema maybe to shareholders at this point and and what yeah, about that high shares cost by the way state, well that right, was a, that, that they was thought a disaster they should spend the the money right that they should spend money. right that should, they should yes. spend money on a gold miner of all things he was their mel gibson in braveheart and it's you know it's he's nowhere near any of that's those not, things no, that's not fair that's a great movie i think you just yeah, take that back i, I take it all back. Right, but let you. me ask you is there another ceo around who could still have this company <laughs> be not bankrupt it's been extraordinary. I'm not saying I would ever buy it, but I do find it absolutely amazing like that he has been. Lives. Yes. By the way, these special these prep shares called deals, apes. The apes, the prep were shares. Jam remember back when they, on them. Remember yeah. when they sold a hedge fund? The right to they, you will take your debt, retire it. We'll give you shares, and you can sell them right, right. away. I mean, they, 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 uh, they, nine lives, I don't know if they're all legal. They seem to be, but it's extraordinary. The problem is when you look at it, when Karen said she's surprised it hasn't come to an end, one year performance, the stock is down 88%. And then if you get overly negative on a stock that's down 88%, tomorrow it could pop 30, 40, 50%, and no one is shocked at it. So you could get whipsawed in this name twice before, <laughs> before noon. It, this is a no touch for Pretty Definitely much everyone on, on, on no. the desk. Definitely the most and funniest comment over here was that they're surprised that the company is still not bankrupt. They're surprised that Adam Aaron was able to save the company. How did he save it? I don't know. He said that the fun part is that the company is simply not attached to anything. There is shenanigans holding the company of bankruptcy. Who are the shenanigans? You can leave your uh, uh, suggestions in the comment section. The guy said that even the, the current positive fundamental news for Taylor Swift or Beyonce or this one that will not save the company. He said the stock barely moved on the day of the news. He said that this might actually save the company for having another 20% decline. How he knows so much about the price action, right? Weird. Weird because how the stock could go down if no one is selling. Good point. If no one is selling, the stock couldn't go down. Theoretically speaking, is that correct? So if there is a good news on the market and if no one is selling on this good news, how the stock could be down, right? Not to mention the same guy said that that price action in the stock and the company and the investors and the apes have nothing to do with the hedge funds and short selling and short sellers. Funny. I guess they all have to review their uh, archive of CNBC videos during 2021, the period between January and April. So they will see a bunch of videos made from them Announcing short sellers lost $2 billion, short sellers lost $5 billion in a single day, short sellers got liquidated. They probably should review the particular interview with Leon Copperheim, who was actually crying on the media. They should review the archive with a lot of the CEOs or chairmen of a lot of brokers who were crying over about these people. They should not be allowed to trade because these stocks could go to imaginable highs and could liquidate a lot of the positions and could create systematic risks. So I guess there is a lot of uh, important things that they should be mentioning over here. Not the current price action, right? And then I'm going to go back in the beginning, which the beginning illustrates the most 
honest point. No one will tell anything or make a headline or call anyone for interview on CNBC when the stock is up 30, 40, 50%. No one. But when the stock is down 20, 15, 30%, you even gonna hear Jim Cramer dedicates a part of his show talking about the stock, how bad the stock is, to clown the investors, clown the CEO, clown the company, clown the fundamentals, right? They will have a dedicated time frame in which the stock should be blamed for and should simply chase off a lot of people to even look into this particular security. Of course, this is my personal opinion. Let me know what do you guys think about this and let me know how the fundamentals will actually crush each and every bearish thesis on the company. Yeah.